Hello Pisces and welcome. Sorry for the wait. This is going to be your next 48 for um, August 28th through the 30th. And two channeled songs came in. The first one is Killing Me Softly and the second one is the uh, um, it's Ario Speedwagon Take It On The Run. The line in particular um, I heard it from another you've been messing around. So I don't know if you're like if somebody's finding out that you've been messing around or you're finding out that someone else is messing around or like something you might be hearing something from another or someone might be telling someone else about something um it kind of fits in with the other energy that's coming up either way we've got a theme of, of getting out of your comfort zone so whatever's going on with that pisces just giving you the heads up through the songs there so it seems like a bit of romantic energy but also um, kind of heartbreak energy. So I don't know if this is, you know, what you're experiencing or what, um, you're hearing about from someone around you. The card that you got out for the next 48 hours is the Knight of Pentacles. So again, a message coming to you. This one, typically pentacles are about money, but pentacles are also about magic and groundedness. And the Knight of Pentacles is, is a step down from the King of Pentacles, but it's still one of the, or sorry, the, from the Queen of Pentacles and then the King. Um, but it's still, it's, it's more mature than almost any of the other cards before those two. And I'm really getting called to kind of these I don't know what you call them. They're like, the, it's like the saddle, like hanging down in the saddle. It's almost like, like a satchel of sorts. Like, so something's been carried around in there, but it looks really worn and tattered. Like, you know, this night has been on a very, very long journey and it's, it, it could be somebody who's got their money in order. Finally, maybe they've been, you know, they've been in this energy for a while and messages have not been coming because they wanted to be in a more, uh, secure place, uh, financially and or emotionally. And, it's funny because right on the bottom in that subconscious position is the king of cups who he's not the most mature of all of the the figures that's the king of pentacles but he is very mature he doesn't typically say much he really recognizes that there's a value in just in in and just not responding sometimes and so and he's also it's typically a cancer a card but it also represents pisces and scorpio and he's because it's in your subconscious, it might be Pisces that in your intuitive, in your intuition, you recognize that this person, whether they have can, whether they have water traits or not, wants to offer you their cup. This is the most loving of all of the kings in there, and the most, you know, definitely the most romantic. It might be a musician also, or or just you might have some sort of a music love language with them, and. It might be that intuitively you know that this is really them, but they are focused on their money more than they are focused on that that intimacy and romance. Um, and, and it could be that they recognize, you know, this might be a, a message of recognition that they are owning what's been in their subconscious and their hearts this whole time. Um, or it might just be that you recognize that um, and that they're not, you know, they're still talking about money and not really facing their feelings, but you know what the real deal is. Um, on As for the Hot Topic card, interesting, look at that, more cups, and it's eight of cups in particular i'm really called to the moon in this one so definitely follow your intuition and there might be some hidden enemies it might be that this knight of pentacles is attempting to become your king of cups or or if this is you you might be attempting to do that um but that in walking away from some kind of situation to 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 go to them or for them to come to you that there might be somebody that they have to deal with first, or there might be somebody who's, um, who might come, you know, might communicate an emotional message to you about their upsetness about this, uh, Knight of Pentacles leaving. Oh, interesting. Yeah, we've got <laughs> more cups, of course. It's funny, when I do the readings, I don't, I don't know if anyone else notices, but typically, depending on the sign I'm reading for, there tend to be more elements that match that sign, like Pisces, you are water, and cups is the water symbol. Um, this is the Six of Cups, though, and it's typically about kind of like that nostalgic love. It can often be a card of soulmates and reconciliation and just kind of that 
falling in love sort of energy that you know like we did when we were young but because of all this mature energy in here it feels like falling in love again sort of thing or at least a desire to and I, what I'm getting called to a lot of people don't notice in this card if you look right up here there's actually a third figure um it's it's a guard and I mean sometimes it seems like they're just standing there. Other times it seems like they're walking around kind of guarding it. But what I'm getting the sense of right now is that, like, this is this is in the heart of the issue. This is what you want and what the other person wants. And the problem is is that there's, there's a third party involved. There's somebody listening in or watching or being, you know, and this is somebody that's, that's carrying around a spear. So that could be that they do present some sort of danger, whether it's uh, real, imagined, or, you know, like it could just be reputation damage or it could be literal damage. You don't know. But I'm, I'm really getting called to that person in there. It's kind of an unknown energy. Um, Beneath that King of Cups, we have the Fool reversed, so somebody didn't look before they leapt. Um, probably this King of Cups. Uh, we have got the Three of Wands underneath that. Somebody's been hesitating to talk about how they didn't look before they leapt. But we do have the Chariot underneath that. Eek, it's sandwiched in there with the Knight of Swords in reverse, some sort of a, like a cutthroat fight of some kind. And the Eight of Wands is in there, but it's an upright, so some lessons learned. And the Ten of Cups, interesting, on top of Judgment. I'm feeling called to stop there, so... Yeah, some sort of judgment has been made about a family situation. Could be that you've made that judgment, or maybe this person has. Um... Yeah, tired of, tired of, somebody is tired of looking at a happy, like a, an emotionally fulfilling situation and not being a part of it. Um, there could be some sort of fight that either has taken place or needs to take place that will create victory. And this is also another card of Cancer and also of Leo, so there's some more of that Cancer energy in there. Um, it could, because we have the Three of Wands in reverse and the, the Fool in reverse, it could be that you might just know about the situation happening intuitively if it's not happening to you directly because of the lack of communication in there. Or, it, I mean, I'm getting the sense that either you or somebody is hesitating on having this conversation. This is beca And because this is on the hot topic, it's a conversation about walking away from some sort of a situation that had, it had some stability, but it wasn't fulfilling. And there's definitely, you know, this figure is going to find their ninth cup, which is, you know, wish fulfillment. And it's, you know, they're, they're not, they or you are not feeling it where they're at and... They want to. They want to go find it, you know. And I mean, we did see that six of cups in the middle. Like and that. That sometimes is wanting to go back to a past person, or it could be a past person wanting to come back to you. Either way, I'm not. I'm not saying yay or nay towards doing it. Um, it it could be, it could be a good experience, but it's. It might still be a bit confusing, and even allowing. So there's been kind of this energy of. Allowing yourself to receive what you want. Allow, you know, if you have some resistance towards accepting this offer from this person, like ask yourself, like, are you stuck in a mindset where you're afraid that, well, if I accept this, what if something goes wrong? Or what if they hurt me again? Or, you know, what if I hurt them? Or what if it doesn't work out? Like, look at that energy and heal that. What is blocking you from allowing you to have exactly what you want, Pisces? It, you know, yeah, there's going to be ups and downs, but all situations, whether uh, money or love or health, there you're never going to have it good all the time and it wouldn't be as wonderful if it was good all the time so really think about that and you know consider is it really that you are that afraid to say yes to the situation or to allow this conversation to happen or to receive this message or are you just worried about what if you actually get what you want and it goes well <laughs> Anyways, Pisces, feel, you know, please leave me feedback in the comments below if you have any. Otherwise, I leave my email in the in the description box if anybody'd like a private reading, and I'll see you in the next reading.